Welcome fellow travelers, welcome fellow tarnished. Yesterday the devs have posted a dev update and it's probably one of the most exciting development updates that they've ever posted. Genuinely I've never been as excited about uh, something like this and there's a lot of new features that are coming up that I feel like need a little bit more mog theory crafting to say the least or mage theory craft. One of those features that I'm really excited about are the legendary weapons. I feel like this feature could literally change the game forever genuinely this could be one of the most exciting features that albion ever implemented so i want to watch this with you guys together and then i want to uh, state some of my concerns and some of my wishes when it comes to the legendary weapons themselves first let's see what um, mr robin said here um, said here about this let's, let's see this together is legendary weapons legendary weapons are regular weapons which become legendary through their use after being awakened these items can gain levels for completing challenges with them and can eventually reach legendary status, gaining unique traits and a unique name. What makes a legendary item extra special is that instead of being destroyed on death, it has a chance to vanish and then being added to the legendary item loot pool. From the loot pool, it has a chance to drop as a regular loot drop, replacing an equivalent base item from the black market and of course still bearing the name of its creator. This allows you to truly leave a permanent mark on the world of Albion and to create a legendary item that becomes part of the game's history. This is insane. This is insane. I don't know how excited you guys are about this, but for me, this is probably going to be the best thing. This is probably going to be the closest thing that Albion has to questing. I know it's a weird opinion, but I will explain in this video and in this moment what I mean by that. But first of all, let's discuss some of the things that scare me whenever I hear this. Every single time since they added the 120 specialization levels, every single time I hear legendary, I can only think of one thing, higher item power. I really really hope that's not the case i really hope they don't make this weapon a legendary weapon by just giving it a hundred more item power now don't get me wrong increasing the item power itself wouldn't be a bad idea but if they just do that that's a huge problem maybe the only way they could get around by just doing that is if the weapon has 2000 item power yeah that would be pretty legendary but anything uh, lower than that would just be a little bit of a gimmick so that the game could say hey we have legendary items just like we have pve no sbi you don't have pve that's why you need to rework it but that's a topic for another discussion chat that's one of my main concerns i really hope that legendary doesn't mean just higher item power at the same time this is my only concern it's a pretty big concern don't get me wrong but it's my only concern there's a lot more things that i'm actually excited about rather than concerned about one of those things is the fact that i'm really curious about this but i feel like this would create questing in albion a quest like feeling because from what i've heard here from what we've all heard here those uh, weapons will become legendary by you completing certain tasks those tasks could vary from go kill 10 players to deliver the final blow to X boss or go do the world boss or grind a minion silver with this weapon equipped or survive for 48 hours with this weapon equipped stuff like that that would kind of feel like a quest i genuinely feel like the game would benefit a lot from this because it would make the non-relevant content relevant again for example let's say uh you're not really doing solo dungeons anymore because solo dungeons are not really that good maybe you're a pvp player you don't really care about solo dungeons but you want to have a legendary weapon. And maybe the legendary weapon that you want to have is the Dagger Pair, which is not really known for its uh, PvE clearing abilities, is it? What if the questline of the legendary weapon asks you to go and complete 5 tier 8 solo dungeons? Then you have to go and clear those dungeons. What if you have to hunt for a specific boss? inside solo dungeons yes you wouldn't do solo dungeons normally for you solo dungeons have become obsolete you're making money from much more efficient ways but now the quest line asks you to go do that and uh yeah that would be pretty fun now if they just add something like that like if they just require you to visit the content that you don't want to be doing that's kind of a lazy way of doing it they should also revamp the content that this weapon can drag you to like if this weapon can ask you to go and kill certain bosses in solo dungeons okay that's great but make me feel rewarded at the end give me a an actual chest with actual items or maybe even revamp some of the bosses that are existent in the game the quest line in my opinion this is one of the dangers could feel very tedious i don't feel like it should feel tedious i feel like it should it should feel epic this would be very interesting i'm really curious to see how this plays out 
The second thing that this would add, the legendary weapon system itself would add in my opinion, and this is very exciting for me, is the emotional attachment that you and me and we as a player base will uh, create, will develop for the weapons that we're working towards legendary status. Let's say I want to level up a Daybreaker and I want to make the Daybreaker legend, the legendary Daybreaker of Gok. Sounds pretty good, right? One of the things that I will need to do to be able to make this weapon legendary from what I've heard so far, I feel like one of those things that I'm uh, gonna have to do is basically survive with this weapon. I'm gonna have to live with this weapon. I'm gonna have to keep this weapon. I, I cannot just go die with it because if I go and die with it, I lose the weapon. Therefore, the weapon no longer becomes legendary. So it's gotta be something like that. It's gotta be something like I'm gonna have to keep the weapon. So right now, me as a, I would say, veteran player in Albion Online, I don't really care about dying that much. Like, dying for me is mainly just about losing some consumables that, hey, are consumables either way, like the gear itself, I feel it, uh, I, I treat it as a consumable, and about losing time. So dying is really not a big deal for me. But if I were to grind to a legendary weapon that I actually have to level up and that I actually have to keep and make sure the weapon survives, well, then dying will feel much more interesting. And avoiding deaths would actually become a goal for me. That would be very, very interesting in my opinion. And I feel like a lot of people will get attached to the weapons that uh, they're working towards achieving legendary status with. And I think this is a great thing because it would create that, um, in a way, higher risk without actually having higher risk because you're just using a sword. Like, it's not a big deal. It's a sword. It's the same sword that you were to use. But you know you want to make that sword a legendary sword. So then for you, it's actually higher risk. I honestly feel like this is going to be a great system in the game. And I'm curious to see what you guys say about this. Now, the third thing that I want to mention, I'm really excited to see what they do with the swords themselves. I guess I could voice this more as a concern in a way, but I hope it's not going to come true. I really hope that SBI, uh, as I've said previously, doesn't just boost the item power and calls it legendary and gives you like a cool name and boom that's legendary because it has 100 more item power i really hope they add cool effects those weapons need to feel legendary now to make them feel legendary i'm not sure exactly what you can do but i've heard some suggestions equat yesterday when he reacted to this dev talk spoke about the possibility of those weapons allowing you to pick more than one passive that would make a difference but i feel like that difference is not enough one more passive yeah it's cool it's a better weapon not a legendary weapon in my opinion the legendary weapons should be overpowered this weapon is supposed to be able to gank gang squads because it's legendary it, you don't find it anywhere yes it's supposed to be the strongest thing ever it's supposed to one shot 8.3 it's supposed to be the craziest thing ever okay, maybe not as crazy like you still need to be able to die with it but uh, you shouldn't die in a 1v1 with this weapon you shouldn't die in a 1v2 with this weapon you should only die if you get ganked with this weapon or hunted and maybe they could even mark on the map whenever a legendary weapon wielder appears i want the gankers in the red zone to stop hunting just for the crafters and to hunt for legendary weapon possessors like when people see you walk around the town with a legendary weapon i want them to put a bounty on you i want them to let all their discord friends know bro this guy is op bring 10 people we need more people that's what a legendary weapon should be anything lower than that is just a good weapon now those effects could come in a form of maybe reworked abilities for example i was thinking about this and i would love for the devs to do this if you remember dead Evers at some point had a big invisibility buff whenever you used your e in the past you used to stay invisible for three seconds. Those three seconds allowed you to go so far away from your enemy and confuse your enemy so much. It was overpowered. You were able to kill groups with that. Maybe bring that back for the legendary version of Dead Givers. The dual swords. Dual swords are incredible in the fact, were incredible in the fact that they also interrupted with their... Maybe bring that back as well. Or maybe even add some new things. The point is, if you're not able to easily overpower groups of three with one legendary weapon, it's not legendary. It's not legendary then. And if you want to balance it, okay, make it very hard to obtain. But make it legendary. Like, once I get it, it needs to be legendary. Oh, and by the way, th this could also be added, like, the legendary status, besides having the spell effects and uh, maybe some new animations and stuff like that, there could be some visual changes to the sword itself. Maybe the sword has a certain glow about it. Maybe it looks like a totally different sword that has, like, a, like a cool skin, like the coolest looking sword out there. It needs to be the coolest looking sword out there. Besides just having a cool name and maybe more item power. I feel like maybe they should even have some more abilities. That would be really, really cool. I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna 
add those new abilities because I do understand it's a lot of work because any weapon can become legendary. So then basically they need to rework all of the abilities. And if they rework all of the abilities to something better, why not add those better abilities in the game? You know, you know what I mean? Like it's a weird balancing act that SBI will have to figure out and will have to do. But I feel like at the end of this balancing act, the result should be a true legendary weapon. This should be the weapon that helps players do 1vx fights like this. Uh, let me say it like this. You shouldn't die in a 1v1 with a legendary weapon. It shouldn't be possible if you don't play absolutely like a potato. You shouldn't be able to die in a 1v1 with a legendary weapon. Maybe make a limit so you cannot enter in corrupted dungeons. That could be a thing because they would become corrupt. Uh, they would become overpowered in corrupted dungeons. But yeah, I'm very much afraid that the devs will not take the risk at the making this true legendary. And I feel like they should take that risk and just figure out how they how to balance it afterwards. But yeah, I'm uh, really curious to see what you guys think about this. And the last thing that I want to see for the legendary weapon is accessibility for solo players. This needs to be something accessible to everybody, not just to guild members. In my opinion, the quest line, if you want to call it uh, like that, the quest line of the legendary sword shouldn't require you to be in a guild. You shouldn't really get much more of an advantage by being in a guild. The guild, yeah, of course, it should help you. The game should promote a group play as any MMORPG should, in my opinion, but it shouldn't force it. So as a solo player, okay, yes, you're going to have more to work. The challenge is going to be bigger, but the reward will feel more fulfilling. That's all right, but don't make it impossible for solo players. Make it absolutely achievable. Maybe just a little bit harder in terms of the types of content that you're going to have to do. Maybe even lock it behind some uh, group requirements. Like, hey, you have to do some group dungeons. So you actually have to make friends. I know it's kind of weird and I'm saying that as a solo player, but I feel like MMORPGs should encourage group play. It shouldn't be impossible for solo players, but they should get encouraged to step out of their comfort zone and seek the help of other fellow adventurers that might betray you to steal the weapon that you work towards so they actually finish making it legendary themselves it's going to be an interesting mechanic i'm really curious to see how sbi deals with this and i'm really curious to see what you guys have to say that this was just my opinion and my opinion doesn't really mean much without yours in the comment section or in the chat down below so let me know chat what you think about this watch us play live on twitch.tv slash mockdown this video was made possible by our amazing channel members if you want to support by becoming Becoming a channel member yourself, you are gonna get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams, member only polls, and lots of other awesome perks. Shout out to all of you awesome badasses! Thank you so much for supporting us.